has been estimated that the average person will spend 90,000 hours at work over a lifetime. That's about a third of our life. So that means we had better like our workplace and our co-workers, at least most of them. Well, Jeremy Pollock is the founder of Pollock Peace Building Systems, and he's here to talk about how we can create a healthy workplace culture. We're so happy to have you, Thanks for Jeremy. having me. Appreciate it. So we have the word culture, which is becoming a real big buzzword. Sure. What do you mean by that in the workplace? Yeah, so it's, it's the social environment we're creating in the, in the workplace. So how do people feel here? Do they feel engaged? Do they feel satisfied? Do they feel, do they feel psychologically safe? Do they feel included like they belong? So all these different elements, socio-psychologically, how do people feel at the workplace? Do we make them have, it? is it a good environment for mm -hmm. them? We talk about turnover so much now. Yeah. Those things can make you leave a company if you don't have the right surroundings and the right feeling about belonging and really liking your job there. Absolutely, and you know, it's, it's an employee's market right now. You know, people are working all, all over the place. They get to work remotely or some hybrid and that kind of thing. And it, you know, we really have to create great cultures for people to come and work for us uh, if we want to keep them and we want to <clears throat> we want to attract really good talent. So it's really important right now. Culture is super important. Mm. Now you say there are three pillars to creating a good culture. What are those three pillars? Yeah. So we focus on three psychocultural pillars in creating a really healthy work workplace. So one of them is psychological safety, and that's the ability for people to speak their minds, to give feedback, to take risks, to be innovative mm -hmm. without the fear of shame and humiliation. That's psychological safety. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. The next one is employee trust, so building a lot of trust with people. Trust comes in different ways, but people have to trust that their leaders are competent, but also that they have to trust that their leaders are going to be consistent in their behavior. They're not going to show up one day in a really bad mood and then <laughs> the next day in a really good mood. So they have to be consistent. It builds trust in relationships. And the third is inclusive decision making. So people have to, people have to feel included in the decisions that are going to affect them. Um, if we can't include people's voices in some of those decisions, at least we need to include them in, by being transparent really transparent about why we came to some of these decisions, uh, what perspectives we considered, et cetera, to, to, to get them to feel like they belong in this workplace. That's really important. So inclusive decision making is the third pillar. And you say this is for big companies and small companies. It works for all companies. Yeah, it's, it's it works for any system of human being. I mean, uh -oh, families, from families <laughs> communities, yeah. I and mean, this is super important for anybody to feel belonging, psychologically safe, and trusting in a, in a relationship with other human beings. It feels like there's been more focus on these types of discussions, which I love, yeah. where as opposed to like even in you know, my parents' generation, it was, what are the, what's the pay? What are the benefits? Like, that's mm -hmm. all people really talked yeah. about. Is this, so is this more of a trend that's coming? Uh, I mean, I mean, it's, it's at least 50-50 now. People do not stay in jobs anymore because they get paid well. People stay in jobs because it's something they like to do and it's a good culture. If it's not a good culture, they will not stay very long. It doesn't matter how good the pay is. I mean, most people. So mm -hmm. that's what we're seeing now. Yeah. So you have the Peaceful Leadership Institute to help companies. How does that work? Yeah, so my, our main for-profit company is Pollock Peace Building Systems. That's where we help like, from anywhere from small business to large companies. But then we also created a nonprofit to help some community-based organizations, oh. some smaller organizations that can't uh, afford to work with like, large companies. Mm -hmm. So. P Peaceful Leadership Institute is our is our nonprofit wing, and that's where we're really developing the research and education around peaceful leadership theories, these three, three psychocultural pillars that we establish in in workplaces. Well, because you can you can identify, okay, we have a culture problem at our place. Now, what do we do? So the, this is part of the training to help train those managers. Exactly, exactly. So we have a we have another sort of sub branch called Peaceful Leaders Academy. Mm -hmm. So Peaceful Leaders Academy is the training academy to help train leaders in this model of peaceful leadership of creating these really important psychological pillars and also like helping to fulfill and satisfy the needs of their workforce. So we've got, a, it's, 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 it's branched out between the Peaceful Leaders Academy, the Institute and the nonprofit, and then our main overarching parent company, Pollock Peace Building Systems. Have you had a chance to go back and look at the results after you've had one of these leadership conferences to say, oh, yeah. what difference did it make? Yeah, so we do a lot of measurements. So we measure beforehand, sometimes we measure out after it, as long as the company allows us to do that. We do pre-assessments in terms of culture assessments mm -hmm. for the whole company. We also do pre-assessments for leaders. So we do 360 leadership reviews. And we, we ask people, how do you view your leader? We also ask the leader, how do you view yourself? We compare those two things before and then again after. And we see if there's a difference between how people perceive themselves and how their staff or their team members also perceive them. And we see that there's a nice 
steady incline in terms of after they after they uh, after they get to training. So it's really it's really important training to actually become a more peace oriented, productive, inclusive leader. Uh -huh. And it'll make you better as a person. Mm -hmm. I think my family could use this training. <laughs> You can learn more at PollockPeaceBuilding.com.